Hi guys, I hope my video finds you well and I hope that you're staying home safe and healthy. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Fabio Palvelli, I'm a designer and as a job I teach other designers how to make better strategic decisions. I worked for years in the field of architecture visualization and on this channel I like to talk about the business side of design. Over the past few weeks I've received messages from quite a few archivist artists and designers asking me why I have not posted a video about what to do with your business during this corona pandemic times or if there is anything that you can do to find jobs since some of you saw either projects being cancelled or being put on hold. Now, truth to be told, I've taken my time to collect as much information as possible about this issue because the reality is that it is very hard for anyone to say as of now what is the best thing to do simply because no one has the answers. Also with my videos I always try to spread positive vibes and as of now it is hard for me to do so because it would mean for me to ignore what is happening in the world. And I find this morally wrong as a content creator. And as a matter of fact, I have many of my friends back home in Italy or Spain in the US. And these are all places that have been heavily affected by the virus. And so I'm actually worried about these people. Now, the thing that I urge everyone to understand is that this is not an economical crisis driven by money. This is a crisis that it's driven by a calamity that it's preventing people from being able to actually do the work, from being physically able to do their jobs. And there is a big difference because if this was a crisis where money was the main cause for the lack or the loss of jobs, you can still do other things that allow you to make money and to monetize because the spending behavior of people would not be affected that much by this and most people would continue living their lives the way they always did. In this case, we are experiencing something that the majority of people walking this earth have never experienced in their lifetimes, which is the inability to go out and live their lives. If we were to compare this crisis to the one of 2008, in 2008 the money was gone but you could still find a job as a bartender or as a waiter because life kept moving forward. Because of COVID-19, if you lost your job, you cannot go out and work as a waiter because you're simply required to stay home inside and safe from the virus. This is also the reason why we're seeing so many governments worldwide stepping in with financial help and this is something that we did not see happening in 2008 because the problem that we're dealing with in this case it's very different. The architectural visualization industry is suffering at the moment because the investors and the people that move the cogs of the construction industry are putting projects on hold because at the moment there is no way to either show buildings to people that might be interested in buying, but also because people are afraid to buy because of all the uncertainties that this pandemic has created. I usually have weekly and monthly phone calls or chats with industry leaders and owners of big architectural visualization companies so that we can share the most up-to-date information with each other. And so far, every time that I would ask somebody how the situation looked like for them and their firm, the answer was pretty much always the same. Yes, we do have few projects in the pipeline going on at the moment, but nothing new is coming in. But then, and this is the thing that worries me the most, one week later when I was talking again to the same people, they'll tell me, look, the projects that we had in the pipeline last week, they're now also on hold and it does not look good. Now, some of my clients that I do consulting work for, they reached out to me in panic, rightfully so, asking me what the next steps should be. And as of now, I still do not have a clear answer because nobody knows how long this will take and nobody knows what the actual economical damage will be once we go back to normal, which I hope is soon. And the reality is that if there was anything that could have been done, it should have been done earlier before the crisis hit us. And so things like saving up money, building relationships with your clients, investing in assets, although 
even assets in times like this crisis that have shown to be very little use during the pandemic, it is still good to have assets, don't get me wrong, but at the moment, most people that do have assets are also experiencing financial losses even on their assets, because this is the thing, this crisis is acting as a common denominator for everybody. But anyways, again, I do not think that this is the time for me to lecture anybody on this stuff. This is a time for us as humans to come together and be supportive of one another. So with that said, there are still two industries that are still thriving despite everything, at least for the time being, which are the entertainment industry and the content creation industry. If we talk about the entertainment industry, Netflix has been said that they actually might be running out of content pretty soon. There was an article on Forbes detailing how the platform might face a crisis because they cannot produce enough content for people to watch during this pandemic. And this might be an issue if this crisis continue a few more months. Actors and film crews, they simply cannot get together anymore to film stuff. However, at the moment, I was talking to a colleague of mine that works in the film industry as an editor, and he told me that a lot of unfinished projects are being rushed into the editing room to be put online sometime soon in case there is a need for this. And so editors are doing that. A lot of film studios are thinking how to continue creating videos that can be distributed through these online platforms like Netflix or Disney. So for sure animation and anything done digitally will present a decent solution to this problem. So if you are an archivist artist, this might actually be the time for you to consider moving in that direction or use the time that you now have to improve those skills that you need in order for you to tackle those jobs in the future. With video games, basically there is a very similar situation. Games are still being produced and there is still a steady sale of video games, both for mobile and console. This might of course change at any time but for now they seem to be holding up still. So as an artist or a designer you should be asking yourself is there a way for me to use my skills now to work in those fields? Then the content creation industry is still thriving. Online sales seems to be steady although this also depends on how much money people have in the bank. But for the online sales to happen people need content to be created. And so skills like motion graphics, uh, 3D modeling, graphic design, those are all very important and can lead you to do something in that direction as well. This is important information that I'm not sure people were considering, but I'm trying to help you guys out, so I hope that you find it useful. Some people that run archivist businesses, they asked me if it made any sense to lower their prices for their services in order to favor their clients. I do not think that you will get anything out of this. Again, the problem as of now is not the money, it's the fact that we're all affected by projects being put on hold, plain and simple. Also, lowering your prices is a dangerous thing and you should always be very careful with this. If you want to reach out to your clients, do not do that to ask them for a job, but do it to see how they're doing. Ask them, how is your office holding up? Be concerned. This is what building relationships is about. Do not call your clients to ask them, hey, look, do you have a job? But rather ask them, hey, is there anything that I can do to help? And ask them because you genuinely want to help. Do not do that with the hope that this will lead to a job because the chances are very scarce at the moment. Is there anything that I can do to help? This is a question that I've heard Errol Gerson talk about in a stream with Christo a few days ago, and I think it's the most sensitive thing that you as a concerned person can ask to any of your clients, especially if you have built a long-lasting relationship with them. Guys, these are weird times to be alive, and honestly, although I understand that some of you might be financially struggling at the moment, we still have to remind ourselves that life is the reason why we're on this planet. We need to keep safe because without a life there is no job for us to go back to once this pandemic is over. 
Use your time to improve yourself, work on your social media, meditate, improve some of the skills that you're trying to improve, do some push-ups, do some squats. Try to put all things in perspective and try to evaluate some of your life choices because this is a good time to experiment and evaluate if there are other things that you could be doing with your life. We are humans, as human beings we're always evolving and success in that perspective is an evolutionary phenomenon. And as of now, I really believe that our priority is to survive because tough times never last, but tough people, they always do. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Fabio Palvelli. See you guys next time.